Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Monday, the 24th of June. Following Robert Murray McShane's reading scheme, the two chapters we read midday are Matthew chapter 4 and Isaiah chapter 56. And in my mind, there's a slight link there. In Isaiah, uh, the prophet says to the people, God's calling you back. And then he calls on those who have been excluded. And he says, let no foreigner who is bound to the Lord say, the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. And let no eunuch complain, I'm only a dry tree. Now foreigners and eunuchs were people that, that had been excluded from the assembly. Because the assembly was for the Israelites, for the Jews, descendants of Abraham. And any foreigner was excluded and anybody who was Im imperfect or declared unclean was excluded from the, the assembly. And Isaiah says, that will not always be the case. And a little later he says, and foreigners who bind themselves to the Lord to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord and to be his servants, all who keep the Sabbath without desecrating it and who hold fast to my covenant will be welcomed. And he says, it's not uh, your status, it's your action, it's how you live. And if you love the Lord and walk with the Lord and keep the covenant and, and do all that is required, God will welcome you into his presence. Um, and he moves from a mere formalism that it's uh, the status and you are in or out to you, it's how you live. God looks at your heart, God looks at your attitude, God looks at the inside of you. And then in Matthew's gospel, Jesus comes, is challenged by the devil calls disciples then, goes and begins preaching. And we're told in verse 23 of Matthew 4, Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and illness among the people. And as a result of that, as he went with this good news, uh, bringing a new perspective, a, a new teaching, because that's what the people say, what is this teaching? We've not, not heard it before. What is this? And as he comes with this good news, the gospel, the, the good news of Christ, we're told that large crowds from G Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the region across the Jordan followed him. So Jesus comes and he draws all these people to himself. And one can imagine the, the foreigners and the eunuchs saying, here's somebody I can listen to, here's somebody that's drawing me. And certainly we, that was true of the tax collectors, the sinners, the outcasts, the people that formalism excluded and Jesus says no it's about your heart and about what God does and God's calling you and for me that's just such a, a wonderful glimpse of the good news that we have that we are included not because of who we are but because of who God is and the invitation is wide and we, we come and we know that we're welcomed and as Christians we can extend that invitation to the world and say to people it doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter what you've done doesn't matter all those things God is bigger than anything that you think might exclude you. Come, come. That's what Jesus said. That's what we say. And the crowds will come. So, so pray that that good news will get out into the world. And pray that we all, as Christians, will live that good news in this world. Be blessed.